Going to bring you some breaking news now surrounding the Tokyo Olympic Games. Uh, they've already been postponed from last summer, of course, because of the coronavirus pandemic. So let's speak to our reporter Geraint Hughes for the latest uh, on this. Geraint, a very good afternoon uh, to you. Plenty of stories circulating in recent days about potential plans to postpone the Olympics uh, again or even cancel the game. People may well remember they were postponed last March. Uh, what have you found out, though, today? Yeah, I've been uh, actually speaking to uh, Tokyo organizers today. They, they granted us an interview from uh, Tokyo today. As you say, there's been lots of speculation about whether the, you know, the, whether the games are ready to go ahead. There are clearly issues, problems in Japan right now. Uh, hugely increasing rates of, of coronavirus uh, in the country. There's a state of emergency in a number of prefectures around the country as well. The government looks to be going to be bringing a ban on foreign businessmen, businesswomen uh, visiting the country uh, uh, as well. So uh, coupled with that as well, there was a poll over the weekend where it suggested that 80 percent of recipients believe that the games should be postponed uh, again. They're not comfortable with the situation in the country around uh, COVID and the economy as well. So we've been speaking to uh, an organizer from Tokyo 2020, Masa Takaya. Uh, he's been telling us probably going through the line that uh, not only the government but the organizers come out with the games go ahead but it's just the tone that he used today listen to what he says because really what he's saying today is that there is really no option but for the games to go ahead he used the phrase to me let me be clear these games will not be postponed again this is masa takaya from tokyo 2020. we have never discussed uh, such the another uh, postponement of the games we have a hundred percent of the concentration and the focus on the uh, delivery of the safe and secure games this summer. It's six months away from the games opening. Uh, the situation, uh, the COVID situation uh, is of course a still ongoing issue for everyone else in the world, but uh, we of course uh, will deliver the games uh, this year starting July 23rd. Well, Geraint, with uh, oh, the rollout of a vaccine across the world currently underway, do organisers think that uh, there's any chance of fans being in those stadiums? Right, today in the interview with Masa Takaya, he, he wasn't really, he neither said one thing nor the other. I, I, I get the feeling he, he was hedging his bets about uh, uh, fan spectators being able to, to watch the Olympics this coming summer. What he did say is that they want to have fans. They are planning to have fan spectators uh, watching the games, but they will make a decision on that in the spring. What they're going to do is they're going to, use information they get from trials that are coming at the up, upcoming J-League football seasons about to begin and then the baseball season which is incredibly popular draws large crowds in Japan that's due to start in March so they're going to use those events to see how they can organize the Olympics by using the information they gather from those from, from football uh, and from baseball so they're not going to make a decision about fans yet until spring let's hear once again from Masa Takaya we are not uh, willing to see the games uh, behind the doors. We are not uh, willing, to, willing to see the games without spectators, of course, in the Naya world. Uh, the games should be uh, uh, taking place uh, 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 within the uh, uh, within, uh, uh, celebration atmosphere uh, composed by uh, spectators. And that's uh, what we want to achieve. In Japan, J-League, Professional Baseball League, uh, these leagues will be starting very soon. Uh, J League will start in February. Uh, Professional Baseball League uh, is set to begin uh, this March. Uh, how uh, they will uh, organize the, uh, uh, their events uh, is also our interest and that's something we need to uh, keep monitoring the situation. As I said, you know, we are part of our society. So uh, how those events are organized under uh, what kind of guidance uh, issued by uh, the national government and the minis uh, municipal government is also important to uh, be considered.
Geron, it was last January, wasn't it, that we heard the Japanese Prime Minister saying the games would definitely go ahead. It was towards the end of March that they were then postponed. Would people, and not least the athletes trying to prepare for these games, be a little sceptical or be right in being a little sceptical about this latest development? Scepticism is inevitable because of, of, of the situation, uh, not just the UK, Japan, but the, the world finds itself in. And also the fact that Japan is, uh, you know, I, I don't want to put words in their mouths, but they are certainly frightened. They are certainly very concerned by the current rise in rates of coronavirus because they have been quite small in comparison here with, with, with the UK, but they have risen very, very rapidly in recent weeks and, and days. So, and also, you do hear from organisers where they all say, yes, yes, of course it's going to go ahead. We plan to go ahead. We've got all the preparations ready. What just struck me that was slightly different about this interview today was the answer from Masa Takaya, where I asked him about the, the, you know, the possibility of postponing once again, although I actually don't think that is a, a, an option. I don't think it's in the contract between the, the IOC and Tokyo for them to postpone again. But nevertheless, I asked him about that possibility. And it was his answer back where he, he said, we are not we have not had any discussions about another postponement. Let me be clear. Now, when somebody speaks to you in, in that tone, in that language, that's slightly different from somebody that's hedging their bet. So it's the clearest indication yet that maybe the confidence has gone slightly higher, above maybe that 50-50 margin, that the games will go ahead. How they will look, we don't yet know. They cannot confirm either way whether fans, spectators will be allowed into the Olympics or not. They're going to make that decision uh, in springtime. Another thing I can tell you, though, is that right now they are not telling teams, all the national teams that will be uh, Team GB, the USA, whoever, to make their teams small. I again asked a question about that. Will you downgrade, downscale the games? They said, we have had no discussions. We will not be downscaling the Olympics. OK, Geraint, for now, thanks very much.